Okay guys, I've told you multiple times throughout this Let's Play how broken the command board is. And you probably haven't believed me, because in the last two stories, let's be honest, we didn't get a whole lot from the command board. It's like, alright, alright, already. You got a couple of unique shot locks, you got a couple of unique commands, but they weren't very good. You're exaggerating, the command board's not that good. No, this little Fortune Street style board game is about to completely break the game, because I heavily abused it off camera after clearing just the first two worlds. And when I say I abused it, I mean I, I really, really did. The only thing I did off screen, by the way. For those of you who aren't about to believe what I'm about to show, the only thing that I did off screen, I went to the Mirage Arena, I did the four Rumble Racing games, which only gave me medals and arena levels, and I didn't use those for anything, and then I did Command Board. And that is it. I did not enter any worlds, did not get any new commands by purchasing them with medals, or anything. Nope. This is purely just me getting new commands as a result of playing Command Board. So if we go to the menu, we are about to see. So if we go to Command X, oh look, Blazara, Blazara, yep, Kira, oh yeah, look at all, all of those reached a max level. Yes, they did. And we're about to see what the commands. We got uh, Blitz, okay, we got some Fire Dashes, we got Fire Surge, okay, Aerial Slam, we got Aerial Slam, Wishing Edge, that's a unique command only for Aqua that you can get on the Cinderella board, and uh, okay, we got some Confusion Strikes. We got Fire, alright, yeah, that's fair. We got a Fundara. Uh, we got Magnaga, yeah, just, you know, no big deal. Magnaga, who cares? We got a Stop, we got a Bind, and uh, honestly, I thought we also got a Sonic Blade in there. I bought a Sonic Blade from Gantu in the uh, space board, but I guess, I guess I didn't get to keep it. Well, that's fine. Uh, Sonic Blade's not super good for Aqua anyways, but yeah, look at all this. We got just all this extra stuff. And we leveled all our stuff up, and that's not even getting into the fact that we also got a second high jump. We literally have two... Oh, no, we don't have two high jumps. I bought a second one out, but uh, didn't get it. And we get Focus Barrier. That's pretty good, so we're going to equip that. Heck yeah, we are. One other thing I forgot to do last time is uh, we got the Fairy Stars Keyblade, which gives us an extra one magic. I want that. Okay, here we go. Now we got to start melding stuff together. So first off, I think we can meld the two Blizzaras together. This just seems like a good idea to do. And why, yes, I will equip a Pulsing Crystal to get Blizzaga with second chance. Yes, that seems like a good deal. I like this. And what's this? Oh yes, we can meld two Funders together. I love this idea. And we will equip a Shimmering Crystal to get Thunder Boost of Thundara. Yes, this seems like a good idea. Honestly, I got more commands than what are being shown here. Like, I also got Zero Gravera, but it's not showing up. Maybe the rounds that I played, like, within the Mirage Arena, when I bought out my opponent's commands, they don't count. But they did when I played outside the Mirage Arena. I don't really know. Anyways, I think that's a good place to just keep on going. Alright, so we definitely equip Blizzaga. We definitely equip Fundara. Definitely equip Magnaga. In fact, I'm going to put Magnaga at the start. Uh, we got two Curas. Oh, wow. Hang on a second. Guys, we got our first Thunder Surge. And we haven't even cleared the first trio of worlds. Might be a little broken. I'm actually not going to meld our Curas for the time being. Because, well, we don't really have enough Synthesis Crystals to warrant that. Also, we got a bunch of new shot locks. Meteor Shower, Bubble Blaster, Ragnarok, Thunderstorm, Absolute Zero. Yeah, yeah, all of these are pretty much max level. I'll quit Meteor Shower. We can at least use it <laughs> once to add the hit count. Anyways, uh, let's head off to Dwarf Woodlands Combat Level 2. Now, keep in mind, I did not become a higher level off screen, but okay. See, this is, this is not okay. Lady, read the room. She's uncomfortable. Now you must eat it. Snow White's like, well, I guess if you insist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if Ventus hadn't given her the apple back, this wouldn't have happened. Also, if Snow White didn't trust creepy old ladies who were running in her house, or um, the house that she resides in, and give her strange food, this wouldn't have happened.
Oh no. What has happened here? Poor Snow White. She was just as sweet as could be. She sang us pretty songs. And made us smile. At bedtime, she told wonderful stories. About falling in love with the prince she met. And when we went to work, she gave us all a kiss. She was so full of kindness. Why, she made better folk of all of us. From what you've said, she must have been very loved. Sorry about the abrupt cut there. I forgot to turn off a very loud heater. So, Let, let's resume. But how did this happen to her? A wicked queen was horribly jealous of our dear Snow White's beauty. So she used her evil magic to change into an old hag. Then she gave Snow White a poison apple. And by the time we got here, well, it was just too late. We found the princess as still as can be. Nothing we could do but wake her. Isn't there some way we can help her? Well, not unless somebody craves the vessel. I'll brave the castle. No, you fools can stay here doing nothing. But I'm not a fear to going, not even to that witch's lair. You'll never make it. The castle's supposed to be guarded by magic and crawling with monsters. Hmm. All right, then I'll go. You will? I will. Leave it to me. I've done a lot of grinding on a board game. Well, all right, my dear. We'd be much obliged. Well, that's a sad start to the Dwarf Woodlands. Yeah, so this is why I did Dwarf Woodlands last, in addition to just so we could get each of the first three worlds and each of the orders. But also because it makes a little more sense timeline-wise this way. Because then left Castle of Dreams quite a bit before Aqua arrived. And then Aqua arrives in Enchanted Dominion right as Ventus is leaving. And then she comes here and enough time has passed after Terra and Ventus have left for the dwarves to get a pretty decent relationship going with uh, Snow White. That they're this devastated by her death. Payback Surge! Punishing foes with payback moves. Yeah, 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 we know about that. Payback Surge, that's a good one. Press square after being knocked into the air by a powerful blow to counterattack. It basically is Barrier Surge anytime we press square while we are taking hit, uh, damage in the midair. I think uh, Terra's Payback Fane is the best, but Payback Surge is pretty good as well. Poison, that's fitting for this world. In a terrible way. Let's go into the cottage. Hey, Dopey. What do you think about this development? Aw. Poor Dopey. We get the attack recipe. At long last. Hey, Happy. I miss seeing her sweet smile. I'm she sure was pretty. Sorry about that, Happy. We'll, we'll, we'll put a smile back on your face. Oh, boy. We can buy some new stuff. Ooh, we're gonna buy a zero gravity. We are also going to buy a fire. Is there anything we can sell? We got a lot of stuff we can sell, actually. I'm gonna sell the Blitz. Blitz is terrible for, oh, uh, well, hang on. Do we need Blitz to meld anything later down the line? I don't think so. Well, we're gonna sell max level Blitz to get a bunch of more stuff. All right. Now that we've got a thousand dollars, what shall we buy today? I think we're gonna buy two more fires. This seems like a good deal. Oh, uh, what else do we want? Oh, we want two more stops as well. So we can get Stopaga. We also want another cartwheel. And another barrier. Yes, it's all very, very important. Wow. All right. Wow. We have almost no money left. But that's okay. Okay, we'll start using regular barrier. And we'll start leveling up our second cartwheel. I 
And now we can start leveling up. We're going to level up the zero gravity. I will just start with the zero gravity. I still want my Kira on because Aqua can still die pretty easily. I promise to go to the Queen's Castle. Yep, only Ventus is able to go to the Dwarf's Diamond Mine. Aqua just gotta go into the woods. But there's a lot of treasure here, so... We get a potion. Okay. Let's start trying to level up Terra's dealing now. Enemies here should be a bit easier to take out than uh, the Enchanted Dominion enemies. I wanted to open the chest, Aqua. Oh boy, an Efer. I just gotta level up that demon. I like how the enemies take more damage when they're in drift. Makes zero gravity a good deal better. Yeah, take that. Here we go, now Aqua's starting to come into her own a little bit. Even when delinking the physical guy. It helps that with all of these magic hastes, I can use zero gravity a lot. <laughs> That's helping. Oh boy, more defense. Genuinely a good thing to have. Alright, here we go. Off to the flower glade. We are now matched up with Terra's story. Yeah, Magnica plus Fundara is gonna be pretty... Oh my gosh, yep. Yep! You better be Fear and Aqua. A Hungry Crystal. Hungry, Hungry Crystals! Are there any other enemies left so I can use Spellweaver on them? No? Drat. But now we actually go to the castle as Aqua. Is something wrong? Oh, hey, bro. This castle, it's different somehow. And I can't find the princess or hear her beautiful voice. Was it all a dream? Wait. You mean you know Snow White? Oh, yes. We met once. It was a song that drew us together. She sounded like a sheep. Has something I loved happened it. to the princess? Yes, I'm afraid so. The wicked queen tricked her into eating a poisoned apple. I must go to her. Where is she? In the woods, guarded by seven kind dwarfs. I will find her. Perhaps there's a way I can help. Off he goes to save the day. <clears throat> Creepy Prince Florian. Alright, we're going to temporarily equip a sliding dash because it's time to sequence break just like we did in Terra's story. Oh boy, yes, a fleeting crystal, thank goodness. Here's the map of the castle. So remember folks, there's that chest up there on that platform. Well, now that we've got high jump, it's just a simple jump and a sliding dash. A -doop. And we get Fission Fyraga! Yes, Fish and Fyraga is good. And we get the Picnic Basket uh, sticker. Well, let's just start using Fish and Fyraga right away. Remember, that's half of Mega Flare right there, folks. And we all know how good Mega Flare is. And Mega Flare, as good as it was for Terra and Ventus, it's going to be even more overpowered for Aqua, who is magic based. <laughs> Nothing will survive. All right, here we are in the dark dungeon.
All right. Let's try to get more Terra D Link experience. Yeah, our, our zero gravity reached level two. That's actually really good. Oh man, this yeah, this world is a lot easier than Enchanted Dominion. Again, if it's your first time playing, by all means go to the battle level order. Really? Man, no dealing flowers. It's a hard knock life for me. Well, now that our zero gravity has reached a higher level, start leveling up some of these fires. Expelliarmus! I forgot we still have the default finish command. So long, me Bowser. Shimmering crystal, yay. So this is the same gate puzzle that Terra had to go through. Take that. Oh boy, another fire. You know what, as Aqua, you truly can never have too many fires. Not even joking. There are so many commands that are good for Aqua that require fire in order to meld, so... I'm actually totally okay with that. Alright, well we missed a treasure chest back there. I wish Aqua's air movement was a little bit better. A fleeting crystal, yay. Man, I forgot how good Blazaga is as well for Aqua. Again, it's amazing how a magic based... Oh my gosh. I didn't even have to bother with all the switch puzzles. With max level high jump, you can just jump right up there. Max level high jump, can you also just jump right up here? Uh, not quite. Okay. So never mind, you actually do have to do the switch puzzles. Yeah. Skadoosh. Okay, I still want to go over there. So for that, we're going to do double sliding dash. I don't think one sliding dash will get us over, but two will. Wee 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 wee. If only we had some attack hastes. But, alas. <laughs> Aqua goes into the Queen's Castle and is just like, let me vandalize everything. Yes, this will make things better. Wrecked. And then here we get Magnet. Wait, is that it? I did a, a double sequence break in order just to get a single... Oh my gosh, I didn't even need to do a double sequence break. I, I can jump up on that ledge. Whoops. Also, I should probably use my shot log a little bit. Just to register that I've done it. Balloon letter. There we go. That's proof that I have done magnet or meteor shower one time. Hey, we're getting some nice level ups. Alright, 
We are approaching the boss, so let's go to absolute zero. Which is probably the best shot lock we have right now. And it is one of those repeated dash ones, so I'm excited for that. A shimmering crystal. Fire, fire, shimmering crystal. Let's get fire out of fire boost. Remember, with Aqua, because she's all about that magic, get her those magic boosts as soon as possible. Along with her magic hastes. It's just gonna be a really good idea. Alright, so this little guy, you're gonna have a potion, and this is gonna be a fake one, right? How dare you. Oh, hey, we unlocked Gold Rush as a finisher. Sweet. I couldn't think of anything better, so I just went with one whole farming <laughs> from Robin Hood. But we're going back to Expelliarmus because uh, I like that finisher better. And that's just the way it is. Oh, good. We needed, we needed that health refill. Oh, hey, folks. Oh, yeah. Oh, you fool. I have Spell Weaver. Ah, beautiful. Alright, here we go. Into the Queen's Chambers. Where's the Queen? Something's not right. Yep. The Queen's Potion is still effective, apparently. And once again, we have to defeat the Spirit of the Magic Mirror. Pretty much the same as when we fought it as Terra, but probably a bit easier this time. And not just because we're overpowered. Must it? So that just dealt a bunch of damage to it. Alright, remember, the one with the smile, that's the real one. Yeah, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> you're not recovering from that one. Wow, he recovered from that one! Forgot about that attack. That usually insta-kills you. Alright. I literally just de-linked him so I could heal. I must have passed the real one. Oh, there he is. How oh, unfortunate. <laughs> well, we got a debt capacity increase. Again, one of my favorite fights. The queen is gone, my service done. Adieu, oh victorious one. Where did the queen go? She died of old age. <laughs> That's anticlimactic. I feel like they just kind of threw that boss fight in because they're like, wait, Aqua needs a boss fight and we, we're out of time. Let's just reuse the one from Terra's story because it doesn't even make sense why we have to fight the mirror since Terra fought off the potion enhanced mirror before. But I won't complain. I still love that boss. Oh. Oh, sad prince.
he decides to kiss the dead girl for some reason. But as it turns out, that's exactly what she Princess. needed. She's like, well, that was a nice sleep. <gasps> True love's kiss. That's so sweet. <laughs> it's just like a miracle. Never explained in Kingdom Hearts how that works. Why won't you wake up? Hawk was like, I remember when I kissed Ven when he was unconscious and that made him wake up too. <laughs> no, 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 it didn't. Never happened. He's still dead inside, though. You're awake, Ventus. Oh, it's a miracle. Master Ericus! Ventus is awake! <sighs> Notice how she called Terra first. And not the master who's looking after it. It's just interesting. <laughs> okay, well, guys, she has a boyfriend now, so... Okay, we'll make an exception for you, Dopey. Oh, that was like, goodbye kids. Now they're going to live in the castle. <laughs> Maybe waking is a new journey. Maybe we can make the castle a little less creepy. <laughs> of course, princess. <laughs> Maybe Vent left, because it was his time. By the way, I don't remember what your name was. I don't think we ever introduced each other, but uh, we're mad we in love. We forge a D-Link with Snow White. Good thing, too. And we get the Treasure Trove Keyblade. Snow White D-Link will be valuable for grinding synthesis materials. Oh. Terra! What are you doing? Terra? Where's he going? Mess. Master Xenonort said that I had to go and meet him at the Badlands. He probably has good news. <laughs> and there we go. Wow, Dwarf Woodlands. I forgot how short that world was. And Aqua doesn't go to Mysterious Tower or Badlands. Nope, she goes straight to Radiant Garden. Which is actually good. I'm glad, because that means we get abounding crystals. And we all know how good abounding crystals can be. And we got all the treasures. Yay. Oh, that's great. One thing I want to do, though. I want to do just a little bit of grinding. Just a little bit. There are shoe enemies in here. And I want to grind on the fleeting crystals from them. Using Snow White. Specifically using Grumpy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't care about you guys anymore. Okay, yes, we're getting hungry crystals, which is great. Aha, uh here we go. But the, the shoes drop fleeting crystals. And that's what I really want. And that's payback, Surge. Forgot we hadn't shown that off yet. Maybe this way we can also start grinding up uh, for some healing flowers. Darn it, how do you change lock ons in this again? Gotcha. The buttons I usually use to change lock ons in the other Kingdom Hearts games now is just go to a different command. Oh boy, gauge boost. Oh, here we go. No, why would you lock onto the one guy I did not want you to lock onto? 
Come on! These guys are a shoe in. One? That's it? No, I know you can do better than that. There we go. Even if Ventus is the only one who can actually meld the treasure raid, Aqua still gets treasure raid in the form of the Grumpy D-Link. Or the Grumpy D I wish we could D-Link just Grumpy, but no. We can also grab that bubble sticker now that we got the high jump. Woo! Terra D-Link, please level up. I think now we will meld Kiraga with a fleeting crystal in order to get Kiraga with reload boost. Finally! <laughs> Finally we get the maxed out Terra D-Link. Took us long enough, good lord. I'm gonna put some dirt in that. We can meld another two fires together with Shimmering Crystals to get Fire out with Fire Boost. We'll equip another two fires. Well, I guess now we can start leveling up the Cinderella D-Link. Oh wow, a D-Link flower already. Now we can meld another two fires with Shimmering Crystals to get our last Fire out with our last Fire Boost. And now, oh, what's this? <laughs> Aqua's fire attacks are now stupidly powerful? Why, yes. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> and it is a glorious lead. Oh my gosh, we finally got the second Cinderella D-Link flower. <laughs> it took ages. <laughs> Sometimes those D-Link flowers, man, they just, like, they don't want to appear, and so they're not going to appear. Aqua, will you take me to the ball? <laughs> there we go, Snow White D-Link upgraded. Look how fast the commands recharge now. Alright, now our pocketses are filled with fleeting crystals and shimmering crystals and all sorts of crystals. And that is where we're going to end things for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time, we are heading off to Radiant Garden. And as we all know, that means abounding crystals. And that means a lot of command grinding. But it'll also mean it's going to be a pretty interesting area because uh, some pretty cool stuff's going to happen in Radiant Garden plot-wise. So, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.